Okay, so up till now, uh, we have talked about this particular literal movement. In the literal movement, we have talked that how the attacker is going to uh, spread inside your machine. Now, in the next phase, he is going to start the collection. So, collection means to gather and prepare data for exfiltration. Okay. In this particular phase, the attacker is not sending any data to outside world. No. It is just preparing the data how to send. Okay. So, collecting objective relevant information from sources like browser, audio, video, and email, commonly through the man in the middle attack. So, this collection technique uh, the attacker used to gather and prepare data for exfiltration or uh, later analysis. See, once uh, some attacker has or advisory has attacked, uh, gained the access to the system and moved laterally. Uh, within the network, they often took for sensitive data such as credentials, intellectual property, your financial information because now the attacker is in your network, in your zone, whether it is a MZ, DMZ, your inside, all zones the attacker is available. So, he has lot of access, lot of permissions. So, now he can do the required activity. He search into your entire house and find what is important. It's just like a case, like in a in a home, in a house, in a big house, if uh, in a big house, when uh, when a thief entered, when a thief is going to enter, he is not uh, stealing each and everything from the single minute. First, he will visit in all the rooms and find which room has the most valuable jewelry. Then the whole team will go to that room and collect all the re uh, re reasonable jewelry. So, if nothing is uh, fine, then he can take your sofa, TV, washing machine, anything. But if jewelry is there, he will not take your sofa and washing machine. He will take the dead jewelry also. So, in this particular collection, he will find out what is sensitive and what he can be taken easily. Because end of the day, the data exfiltration is also in part. He need to exfiltrate the data. He need to send the data to his C2IP. So, he can capture your audio, video, he can opt uh, like data, uh, capturing the entire data, he can install the key loggers, screen captures. So, all these things can be done. See, when these things are happening, there are a lot of IOA uh, are basically signaled, that is indicator of attack. So, collection technique often involves legitimate OS and application features and uh, making detection challenging. So, security team can monitor for suspicious data like staging behavior, live file compression. Why the compression is there? Because compression is an important area because now attacker is going to send the data to its C2. So, compression, he requires compression. And how to protect? You can protect, protect using the DLP tools like data loss prevention tools, network segmentation, strong access control. So, all these tools can be used. See, by understanding the collection techniques, you, your team can proactively monitor for unusual access and aggregation of the sensitive data, ensuring stronger protection against data theft and unauthorized access. So, this is a very important uh, step that uh, attacker can do. Then, the next step is command and control. In the particular command and control phase, communicating with the command system on the target via data obfuscation, protocol tunneling and traffic signaling. So, what it is there, basically he try to now connect with the C2 IP uh, for which the entire uh, efforts has been done and he usually not uh, talking in the plain text. Okay, so he is not talking into the plain text. He might be obfuscating the data, protocol tunneling like you think that the data is of 443, that is the HTTPS, but actually it is sending some important data uh, about the collection, about the network methodology. So basically in this, technical, uh, in this technique, attacker used to communicate with the compromised system within the target network. The command and control channel allows adversaries to control infected machines, execute commands, and exfiltrate the data. So 
दे कैन यूज डिफरेंट प्रोटोकॉल्स लाइक एप्लीकेशन लेयर प्रोटोकॉल एस टी टी पी एस टी टी पी एस डी एन एस एस एम टी पी ऑल्सो वेब प्रोटोकॉल्स लाइक एस टी टी पी एंड इट कैन कंसील द डेटा द मेलिस ट्रैफिक इन दी सिक्योर वेब ट्रैफिक ऑल्सो दे कैन डू दी प्रोटोकॉल टर्निंग लाइक सेंडिंग द डेटा थ्रू डी एन एस आई सी एम पी पैकेट ऑल्सो दे कैन यूज दिप्टेड चैनल लाइक टी एल एस 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 एल सो दीज ट्रैफिक कैन बी यूज also remote access software and in case some non standard ports like 8080 4431 these ports can be used by the data to send the data so in this particular command and control is very hard to detect see c2 traffic can be difficult to detect as attacker often use legitimate protocol and encryption and trusted services to blend in your normal traffic the traffic is blended in your normal traffic even you cannot detect that what is a malicious and what is a generic traffic so security team can look for unusual pattern such as suspicious outbound traffic to unknown domains so the, the most important thing is destination ip destination domain you should focus on these things and use of non standard ports and uh, traffic to dynamic dns routing so all these things can be helpful in finding the command and control uh functionality then in the other other phase we have exfiltration let me clear the board first so now uh, we have a, a next phase that is the 13th phase that is we called as exfiltration exfiltration means stealing the data from the target while avoiding detection compression with encryption and sending to the c2 so exfiltration refers to techniques attacker used to transfer stolen data out of the target environment see exfiltration is typically one of the final stages of an attack so now we are into the final stage this is one of the final stage the entire efforts from 1 to 12 is done for this thing for the exfiltration so it is usually the final stage of an attacker and can involve a variety of method and avoid detection and bypass so how he will going to avoid detection using encryption using uh, some security bypass controls see data exfiltration could be of any type of data set like intellectual property whether it is your ot data it data financial database customer information or proprietary credentials so all these data can be exfiltrated so there could be a scheduled transfer there could be some automated exfiltration also you can uh, put some data transfer size limits to reduce this uh, issues of data exfiltration so it's very hard to understand but if you find any encrypted channels or some c2 communications and uh, you can find unusual traffic patterns or large or frequent data transfer like usually you have 3 mb per uh, th uh, like 300 mb data into a particular network but on a single day you are finding 100 uh, mb of or 200 mb of data so these things can be identified so this could be a potential ioa indicator of attack okay so this thing you must work upon to find out the possible so possible uh, uh, level of exfiltration then we have a last but not the least that is impact following through and reaching the final goal such as compromising integrity of sensitive data and targets operation so basically impact represent techniques attackers used to disrupt manipulate degrade or destroy systems so once the data is being stolen so now any impact can be done he can delete your data he can do a uh, ransomware onto your data he can uh, he can change your data he can degrade your data disrupt your data so anything can be done so basically the impact tactic is typically associated with the final stages of an attack and aim to accomplish objectives that damage the targets data integrity ability and reputation so any type of uh, impact you can see uh, into this particular phase so data can be manipulated it can be defaced 
uh, your disk can be wiped your services can be stopped resource can be hijacked endpoint denial of service network denial of service also account access removal firmware corruption modify system images so there are n number of possibilities that can a attacker do into your particular system so these are the 14th uh, uh, mitre tactics and i know uh, these are very very advanced uh, model of uh, the cyber attack but if you are able to understand this particular model then definitely a lot of threat hunting could be improvised into our systems